Hello. Welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Stephan. This is the Las Cruces Channel's greatest show in history. That's true. Double Talk. You're hiding a beard and a mustache under your mask. I'm putting this back on until I get a beard and a mustache. Is that how you grow a beard and a mustache? Well, you've had it one just, in, before, Michael. Uh, what have. happened to it? it? It got gray and fell off. That's what happened. <laughs> yes. Yes, we're here. Look at all these booze bottles. What the hell's going on, Michael? Well, because I had one idea and you had another idea. That's why. Well, you know. You know, but. Uh, you, get, you got two idea guys together. I know, you, you get, get too two many ideas. ideas. The, the trouble with this one is uh, this one will be perfect. This is sort of, the first one is sort of like a, an attenuated martini. Attenuated. Well, in actually what way? added. Uh, it's a martini with the uh, introduction of Chinar, which actually makes it. A sort of a um, oh, Come on, spit it out. Uh, what's the one with uh, three things? Anyway, Negroni. Negroni with. Uh, well, you know how I like this good martini, Michael. Yes, that's you do. My classic drink. And that's why I thought this would be good because I was looking through the book for weird things, and um, and it, I never tried this one, and I tried it this week, and uh, it wasn't bad. So what are we doing with it? We are doing one and a half ounces of. You say it's attenuated. Gin. I say it's bastardized, but whatever. It's it. uh, manipulated. How's okay. that? Yes. So an ounce and a half mm, of, of sparkling. An ounce and a half. Well, what, am I, what are you going to drink? I'm going to drink this part. Oh, no, I'm going to drink. And then, let's see. Oh, half an ounce of Chinar. Uh, those of you who have a memory who have watched our show uh, might remember Chinar. We've had it on several times. It's made with artichoke hearts. It's, a, it's an aperitif. Yes. And um, it's not as sweet as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hard to choke hearts. It's good. Goes great with a pizza. So three quarters been ounce. Oh, this doesn't go to three quarters. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh, oh I just spilled half of it. And oddly enough, the here comes the martini part. Uh, white or dry vermouth or French vermouth, as they say. You not much that? of that, right? You don't want to put much you know, of that. You don't in. need much of it. Um, well, actually, you know. If you notice, white vermouth or dry vermouth is always sold in small bottles. Because not always. Not always. Well, I've mostly, they, more than other things, it has small bottles because it goes bad quickly. <laughs> That's why I'm using it on you. Well, you know, I try to, I try to buy the small bottles sometimes, and Walgreens usually has the large bottles. Uh, actually, I Did think... Did you get uh, that Noli Pratt at uh, Walgreens? I think Toucan had it. Oh, Toucan. Yeah. Well, they charged like it was a large bottle. Yeah. But yeah. this way, you don't have to pay for stuff that's going bad. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's like wine. It doesn't go bad any quicker than wine does. That's no, no, it doesn't, it but wine would go... Because you don't use vermouth that much. I mean, this goes bad if you don't have it refrigerated within a month. Well, that's true. Just re refrigerate or just drink it like wine. You can do that, you know. Not dry vermouth. You can. <laughs> Sweet vermouth, you can. I've done both. Well, you have desperate times, buddy. <laughs> Oh, the favorite God, thing. No end in sight, I'll say. It. I'm doing, uh, next week I'm doing a thing on uh, noon TV for the Jewish Federation. And, noon and, TV? What's that? Well, old people who are over 65, we're calling old now, uh, it's the new 45. You but Jew TV? Jew TV. And um, they said, do a show. And they know that all I do is alcohol anyway. So my the name of the show is... Uh, what comes after gin and tonic and Moscow Mule? Most people do that as an easy thing, right? Do what? Have Moscow Mules and gin and tonic. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Okay. But let's get more exciting, like with crazy things like the Berlioni. You're going to do that on your TV show? Is uh, this a tryout for your Jew TV show? Yeah, my Jew TV show. Yeah, I've been working for the last 10 years. So I'm this. the guinea pig for your next mm. real show. Is that what you say? Well... It's either, yeah. <laughs> Look, it's got a funny. Uh, tint it's got a great color. It's, it's uh, like a red, reddish, greenish, red green. <laughs> Isn't there a red comedian green. named Red Green? I used to love. I used to love that TV show. Really? Because it was in color. We clink on our. We did. We, we clink on our th thing. This is. It's like a Negroni, Michael. Pretty much. Yeah, but not an overpowering Negroni. The bitterness <laughs> comes from a little bit of the chinar, the yes. artichoke thing. The dry vermouth keeps it from being too sweet, which you don't like drinks to be too sweet. 
If you remember your tastes, I remember your tastes. That's, that's correct. This Mark. is too sweet. I'm glad you remembered. Yes. Does it mean you care? No, it just means no. I'm avoiding you saying, oh, it's a girly drink. Is it a girly drink? I don't think it's a no, girly it's drink. It's not a girly drink. Not that there's anything wrong with girly drinks, girls. Oh, mm. One thing I, I've been noticing mm -hmm. is, you know, you take the first taste of a drink, and you notice this too, and you go, ugh, or something. You go, oh, what the you hell is the this? Words. Yeah. And then it takes time. I did a gin and uh, vodka tasting recently, but the person only drank this much and, and would make his decision. And I'm thinking, yeah, I can't do it on that much, no. It's like a, uh, it's like a nice meal. You can't make it, you can't criticize it, it your tongue on has one to get, bite. You have to figure out what it is you're tasting. I mean, you go, I never tasted you have to this. Savor, and you have to, take, like, say you're having a steak think, or something. You have to taste the other items that go with it. Things that work. That your, your mouth has to at, attenuate. <laughs> it has to adjust itself to what you're drinking. Oh, that's a good drink, Michael. It is pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah. In spite of the chino. You realize the, you know, you got to use chino up somehow. You can't always put it in a uh, hummus. You know, artichoke does? hummus. Oh, is that how you like it? Yeah, that's how you like it. That works. Oh, so we have would, a big I, week. It's a big week, you know, right? I would drink this at Mardi Gras, which no. is next week. Uh, I thought it was the week after. It's the 16th. We're at, uh, yeah. We're going to have a Mardi Gras show coming up in next about a week. week. Yes. We'll be wearing beads and everything. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be topless. Because uh, we took off our beads to do this show, so there'll be some differentiation between this and next show. You're getting a topless girl to come in, right? Sure, but you know what? Now if she, if she sits at the table, you won't be able to see her because she doesn't have a top on. She, she doesn't um, have a top. Now that we're not on Comcast anymore, we can do anything we want to, right? I guess so. It depends. We could do it on Comcast, too. <clears throat> Our producer still thinks this is a family show. I don't, it it I don't is know a where family show. Because oh, yeah, family show. How are you supposed to make your parents happy with you if you don't know how to make drinks for them? <laughs> That's true. You have to I, I actually, as a child, was the bartender. They told me how to make the rum and coke that they would have when they came home from work. Okay, rum and coke. That's another easy, easy drink. I mean, it's like a gin and tonic and a night. Moscow mule. Yeah. Rum and coke. It's not bad. It's I was nine good. years old, making drinks for my parents. Did you put a Did lemon? Did you put lemon yeah. or orange? I would no. They didn't request a Cuba Libra. Oh, they just said rum and coke. Rum and coke. Here's an old story. With, we used to go down. We used to go with a little group to different restaurants that nobody ever heard of, and uh, we were at a, a Japanese restaurant in El, west side of El Paso, and uh, somebody asked for a rum and coke. And he went to the bartender, he came back, he said, he doesn't know how to make a Roman Coke. Do you remember that story? You wrote a <laughs> Roman Coke. Now that you mentioned, it kind of sounds familiar. It was. It what, was did, what did he know how to make? A rum and rum? He didn't know. Coke and Coke? Roman, a Roman. What, what a kind Roman of Roman Coke? drink? Yes. You were at the wrong rest. All he knew was sake. Right? He also uh, didn't know when we ordered Sauvignon Blanc, um, he did a 71 blank. Okay. So, we had uh, some ordering problems there. Apparently so. But you know, Michael, this... You don't have to worry about that anymore. Nobody goes is, to restaurants. This is Super Bowl Sunday, and uh, I, I know that you are a big football fan. W which one is that? And is that with the ball that's not circular? Yes, that's right. And no. um, I know that you're probably rooting for the Canadian team. The Dutch. Because I like those little hats they wear. <laughs> and, the, and the leather clogs. Those, I mean, the the leather shoes. clogs, maybe your guys wear shoes. leather. <clears throat> no, so. Oh, Mardi Gras. Oh, so you're going to, we're talking about Mardi Gras. Super Bowl. Yes. Sunday. Now, uh, of course, as we, as I know you pretend to know that it's, it's uh, Tom Brady with the uh, New England Buccaneers <laughs> versus. The New England Buccaneers? Yes. He moved, he moved from Boston down to New England. I mean, down no, to Florida. Florida. It's yes. the Miami. He used it, to be, no, the, Tampa. Tampa Buccaneer, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. He used to be. He'd be so specific. He used to be with the New England Patriots. Now he's with Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and he got them into the Super Bowl his first year. Uh, of course, he's going up against Mr. Mahomes. Yes, who's which a kick ass with Kansas City. Yes, and, and half his age, right? Half his age. Brady could be Mahomes' father. How do you know? It's true. Oh, Brady's 43. Mahomes is 26, I think. And uh, this will be this will be the. 
a battle of the of the, uh, the quarterbacks. Generations. So I'm I'm, I'm rooting for Kansas City. It, it should be exciting because I'm a big Mahomes fan. I'm rooting for Denmark. Denmark. Yes, I got my money on Denmark. Okay. You, uh, so you, you want to cover that bet? If you want to. You want to cover that bet? You want to bet on Denmark mm -hmm. with me? Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. But if nobody wins. Yes. So, but you know that you know you've heard of uh, Uber. Oh, there's also Lyft. Oh, you're you're switching here. And Lyft is giving free rides. Yeah. Through a program with the New Mexico Department of Transportation, you get a twenty dollar credit. Oh, that's pretty good. You get good. a free ride, so you don't have to drive drunk. But you don't uh, come back. And they. You have to pay for your comeback. Right. I'm not sure. You get twenty dollars worth. So if it's ten dollars there and ten dollars back. Actually, Lyft is not expensive. So. So that's happening, which is, I think, a cool thing. So but you can only do it once a week, right? I don't know where, you, where you're going to go because the bars are closed. <laughs> Most people well, like, you people can go just go drive around. The Super Bowl. You go shopping. <laughs> you go to somebody's house, watch yeah. the Super Bowl, like you're not yeah. supposed to do. You know, you're supposed to social distance and all that. But you can get a ride through Lyft for free. You get a $20 credit Lyft. The credit. Uh, well, if you look up, chip. if you ever look on your computer, which I know you don't. Since I send you stuff, and uh, both Uber and Lyft always have deals, and, and they're now doing the deals of twenty dollars free food delivery. They're doing food delivery for free too. Well, you know what? I I go out and get my own food. But if why would you, why if, why if you don't want to go out to, and drive yourself to where to some place? Yeah. W what do you usually go for? Food. This way, you could sit home. Most people are sitting at home, Say, well, getting their food delivered. If I because want, it's the way of slothdom. <laughs> slothdom. Well, see, yeah. I'm, I'm anti-slothdom if I can help it. Oh, it's I like to go to Habaneros and get the, the, chicken mole, which is really good. Yes. Well, uh, well, your Uber driver or your Lyft driver can pick it up for free. You don't get the food for free. But I mean, I still have to they're the really food. working. Both Uber and Lyft are trying to stay relevant. Since nobody, as you say, goes out to bars or clubs or anything. You can't. They're closed. For you the could most go part. there. You can't get in. The outs well, the, the bars that have outdoor patios are still open. I, as I understand, I've not you know, been to Salud these. You know, has uh, a lot of outdoor space. Salud. In fact, we were there this past week. Ah. Oh. And uh, it was really good. Hooters has. A, Hooters? Yeah, they have a tent. That's our, our Christian uh, producer yelling out Hooters. <laughs> Well, you know, good, I, good time to put a picture in now. I go to I go to Rendezvous Cafe. They have a tent out in you front of the You love that, but don't I they do. have a, just a small space? It's a big tent, big tent they have. Plus, they have great takeout. Plus, they have some of the best pastries in town. Well, that's not. Safe. It's a French chef, and you know, he knows thing. what he's doing. They do, folks. Believe me. Who else has been good? Hacienda is good. They have a lot of space. They have that space near the pool. Ah, and yeah, they, but it's too cold. No, they have heaters. They have good heaters. Uh, last night, last night being Wednesday night of this week, yes. it was uh, really warm out, and probably tonight will be warm. So tonight, you can go there. Tonight's a very nice night, but next week's going to be very cold. They say. Take it while you can. You know, it's funny if you own a, a restaurant, your business depends on the weather. It uh, does if you have to eat outside. Now. Yeah, it does. You know, this is Black History Month. You know that, right? Let me see. It's Black History Month. Oh yeah, so it says on my watch. Because I have a special watch that tells me yes. things like that. So I don't make faux pas. The, the shortest month of the year is Black History Month, as you may know. Isn't this a, a Women's Month, too? No, no. Is that April or March? No, we'll get to whatever it is later. Oh, is it later? Yeah. You know what Jewish month is? What, every oh, month? Every month. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. If you're a Jew, of yeah, course. Yeah. <laughs> if you're Muslim, not so much. Well, they do have a month of their own. Ramadan. Yeah, a whole month. Whatever You're not is. supposed to eat during the day on Ramadan. Well, don't uh, don't Jews fast for certain day? We have one day. One day fasting. You know what? We're doing one thing day. like that. You know, we know <laughs> enough's enough. I've had my <laughs> That's right. I've had my fill of not eating. Okay. How do you but, get filled up with not eating? You can't get filled up that way. That's what dinner's for. Let's have let's take a break, Michael, and we'll be back. Are we are we going to after these words? And then we're going to do. A, Oh, then you get to talk about different months? We're going to do a variation on this months. drink. Mike Long. No, we're not going to do a variation. Yes. We're a whole different thing. We want to talk about Marjorie Tyler Green. So we're going to work in.
you found us on channel 98. Keep watching because we have so much in store for you. We want to grow together. Your channel, local and real. If we want to improve America's healthcare system, let's start by improving the health of Americans. Despite the best doctors, hospitals, and medical advancements, Americans are not as healthy as they should be. We spend too much on treatment and not enough on wellness and prevention. We need a system based on primary care. When patients have a medical home and a long-term relationship with a doctor, the result is a longer, healthier life and reduced medical costs for everyone. Let's make America a place where health is primary. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Hi, I'm Ray Bamberg with Here on Earth. I would like to invite you for a free hearing evaluation to our office. We've been here in Southern New Mexico for 34 years, helping people hear better. We are back. This is Double Talk on the Lost Business Channel on our Corona Casts that we do every week. And today being well, not the day you're watching this, but uh, Thursday of last week, we have a question about green. Green? Yes, Marjorie Taylor Green. What is going to happen? And we don't know. But in honor of that, she should be thrown out of uh, out of Congress, and that's and that's it. And for that reason, yes. we're going to have a green drink. Let's do that. And the green drink is one of our favorites. Well, I are I'm going to include you because I think you've liked this in the past. Well, what makes it green, Michael? Yes, we the have The thing lime. that makes it green is chartreuse. Chartreuse, which is chartreuse a green. is a great, crazy aperitif or, or liqueur, and it's made out of nobody knows because it's made out of, it's made from a, a monastery, the chartreuse monastery. Oh yeah. Yes. Well, you've already added lime juice, and that's green. I did. I did three. Well, it doesn't look that green. It's watery green. So there's three quarters of everything in here. So it's kind of made like a Negroni or, or whatever with equal parts. And so, when you're dealing with chartreuse, you want to make sure there's not too... Chartreuse is really overpowering. You this don't want to overdo chartreuse. This is green chartreuse, which has higher alcohol. <laughs> um, you're saying there's more than one kind of chartreuse? There's a yellow chartreuse. The yellow chartreuse has less alcohol, but is sweeter. Mm. Uh, which is why the green chartreuse is good. Uh, the other favorite thing, uh, Luxardo, is uh, uh, the good old cherry liqueur. Oh, you want to take the lid off first? Huh? Do you think it's taking? I think you should take the lid off. I was on a diet. That's a good thing. Um, so three quarters of an ounce of this as well. Uh, 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 I'm gonna have to buy a new bottle yeah, of this time, one, huh? Today yeah. would be good, though. Yeah. Did you put the gin in? You didn't put the gin I in. I did not put the gin in. You know, there's a... Just a gin-free drink? For you, it's everything's free. Free. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the day. But that's because I'm expecting a good tip. No, I got a tip for okay, you. Okay, yeah. Stay out of show business. <laughs> I did by being on this show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so gin. I mean, this is a great lineup of, of alcohols. Uh, chartreuse. Luxardo um, and uh, gin is... Uh, now you're going to shake it up? I'm going to shake it up. Don't forget Where's this. my little cap? You didn't lose that, did you? See that little chartreuse cap? Don't want to lose that. No. Not like cheap here. You know, it is said you're only supposed to shake up drinks that have sort of uh, fruit, like uh, lime or lemon. But I believe almost all Martinis of them... Martinis are shaken. There's no fruit. Uh, it says stirred, not shaken. Ah. If you don't put any fruit juice in, they say there's no need to 
to take it. But uh, there's those of the idea that uh, gin is meant to be bruised by the oh. ice. It breaks up the molecules. Another old wives' tale. You have to do a lot of practice, you know. <laughs> Did you, you ever can bruise my gin all you want? Yeah. <laughs> what a great offer. <laughs> Would you please? It's not that green, is it? <laughs> it's really not. But if you hold this bottle in front of it. Yeah, it's green. Uh, all right. Our producer wants to drink swamp water. But who could blame him? Say, that's not bad. That's a good drink, isn't it? Yeah, it actually is. It's balanced. The, the beauty is it that uh, of it is chartreuse is hard to control. Luxardo is a great mixer. Uh, when you hear the word <clears throat> maraschino cherry, everybody thinks it's those little red ones you get yes. in fruit salad. No, with, with, Mar with, you, as we've discussed before, maraschinos, these are nice black olives. And this. Olives. Uh, not olives, cherries. With red dye number four, of course. Uh, no red dye. Not only that, it's slightly bitter. There's a slight bitterness to it. It's not sweet. Which makes this drink work, I think. Don't you? It's many people's favorite drink. <laughs> we have a friend in Albuquerque who loved it so much, he wanted to recreate it for his family, I think in Austin or San Antonio. And he forgot about the Luxardo Maraschino liqueur and put in something else. Kind of and everybody said, well, what are you doing? This really has to be balanced. <laughs> and, and that's the way it's As most it. cocktails most money. do. Need to be. Yes. And that, that's why we do this as a public service. Public service. We get for paid you, by the public. For you people. We, yes. have a, we have a hat outside the door. And if there's money in it, you know, we <clears> just... And if you like these drinks, let us know. Uh, and we'll make them and we'll mention your name. Yes. Who loves this drink? Now, <clears throat> this is President's Month. Oh, after Black History Month. So they give it the shortest month. Why did they make this President's Month? Tell me why. Oh, because... Two slavehold... No, two people dealing with the slave trade's birthdays. 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 One owned George slaves. Washington. In the old days, everybody owned slaves. You know, pretty soon when cars I get did. independent, then people own cars in these days. If you owned a car, <clears throat> people... Used to be, you know, it used to be like there was... George Washington's birthday, then it was Abraham Lincoln's birthday, but then they combined them into just President's Day. Because two years ago, up to two years ago, they thought those presidents were both good. People thought Washington was great. Well, it's the father of our country, right? You said it. No, they said it. Not I don't know. I don't have any of his genes. He's not my father, but you know. Actually, I, I sold his genes because you know they were all bell bottoms. Indigenous. But indigenous genes. Did you know that's a really good drink? I mean, it's amazing. It anyway. is a good drink. Yeah, we should start off. Okay, that. we got to keep going. We're only on number six. Now, if of you're heading, 12. if you're heading south toward El Paso on Interstate 25, you may not get off. Oh my! At University Avenue for the next three to four weeks. What? No, because people get out at the school. Oh, well, uh, you're going to have to take your visa. Treviso is closed off, and you know because <clears throat> what they're doing is they're raising the road on the south side, the northwest. Uh, the take north, Solano. That's, all that's I can crazy. Say. Take Solano, but or take Del Rey. That's going to be crazy. Or whatever, or Don Roser. But that's going to be or quite. That's quite a feat because they're building a tunnel underneath it. They're building a tunnel underneath it. You think they do that first and then put the road over it? No, they do it the other way around. Ooh, I hope they know what they're doing. Because they rethought it out only uh, 40 years after they first made it. Now, you know, the Air, Air Force, Force, what? The F-16, uh, you know, the F-16 fighter squadron is based at, at uh, Holloman Air Force Base. They replaced the uh, F-117 Stealth Fighter Squadron. And yeah. so now we have the F-16, and they, you know, they do the test flights. There's been a lot of controversy with them flying over the Gila Wilderness, destroying the wild animals. And so- You mean like Gila lizards? Deer, antelope. They have to play somewhere. That's true. Yeah. But all the animals that live there uh, were being, it's not Scared. natural for them because they're flying over 500 feet elevation. That's cruel. So the Air Force is no longer going to be flying over the Gila. They're going to be flying over Texas and New Mexico. And I don't know why they can't fly over Mexico itself. Uh, they can, the fly, Mexicans they, they can fly over Mexico. Shoot them down. No, Mexico. No, put a wall up. 
<laughs> it should, yes. It's, yeah, that wall will keep it from flying over Mexico, won't it? Well, yeah, it's going to be really high. So high. Yes. Oh, we better keep moving. Love of Art Month is, now, this here. is also the, for the Love of Art Month, and we'll be talking about this next month, as, next week as well. Well, we have all month to talk about it, but first Love thing, of Art Month was started here about 25 years ago, I think. Yes, and, and the Museum of Arts in Las Cruces will be holding holding Zoom presentations. The Doniana Arts Council is having a, a bunch of people from the uh, arts organizations yes. have shows. And the El Paso uh, Zoo is, is having the uh, the Quit Buggy Me event where they have the hissing Madagascar cockroaches for Valentine's Day. Oh, you threw that in, huh? You can name a cockroach after somebody you don't like anymore and they will feed it <laughs> to wait, a wait, living Speaking creature. of cockroaches, here, here's one story which you, you didn't let me talk about. What's that? The uh, hundred people who are arrested in France having a non-socially distanced orgy. Uh, how many people were in that orgy? A uh, hundred. Oh, I've been in bigger orgies than that. It's not how big your orgy is, it's how big you are. Now, did you know, <laughs> did you know that home inspectors in the state of New Mexico never needed to be certified, never needed to know anything about how to inspect a house. Uh, but now know. they do. Really? They, because, need to, uh, they need to be licensed? But and people were training. licensed before. Are these the people who inspected to give you a valuation? Yes. Oh. They say, okay, it's good, you can move in. Now, we also want to mention that Cicely Tyson, one of the greatest actresses of our day, has died. And one at, thing I didn't know about her, that 96. what they mentioned was, she was married to Miles Davis. Yes. And, you know, I thought I knew a lot about Miles Davis. I'm and sure you always wondered. Easy. Uh, nobody wanted to leak it out there. And because Cicely Tyson comes from the Tyson chicken food. Uh, no, she doesn't. No, no, she doesn't. Oh. no, they just happen to share the same name. Oh. But she was one of the greatest American actresses uh, of our time. I can't believe she's 96. Yes. She was. And also, uh, we'll mention the passing of Dustin Diamond. On the other side of the age. What show was he from, thing? Michael? He was from uh, Saved, by the Bell. Saved by the Bell. Yeah, he was 44. He, was, he died young. They were showing uh, pictures of him on TV of when he was a kid. He was the most innocent looking kid. Screech. He was Screech. Right? Yeah, yeah, he was a real nerdy. The he most, was a perfect nerd. The most annoying. He was a perfect diamond in the rough. <laughs> and, uh. Oh, basically, on that pun, well, we're, gonna, we'll show's take, over, we're taking it out. Yeah, watch us on Facebook because we're on Facebook. YouTube. All of our shows from Twitter. the last. 11 30, what happened to 11 o'clock? 11, 11, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. 11 o'clock, Saturday, and Sunday, YouTube, if Twitter. If you go to YouTube, you can see our whole calendar of shows for the last, let's say, eight oh, years, maybe. At least 10 yeah. years, probably. If you have a drink you want to find out, we're going to find out if we ever did the Berlioni. I don't remember. Let, let's taste this one again. Yeah, sure like it. Good mm, Who's mm, taste like productions? Like yeah, it only takes three alcohols to make it. Mm. Let's take this again. Mm. 